Okay, I'm gonna do a video on how to card the undercoat out. This will also help, um, if you're clipping the dog, this will help keep some of the color and texture as well. Um, if you're hand stripping, this is what you wanna do before you start stripping on the dog. Um, this is a classic stripping knife. Uh, they don't make these anymore. They make something called a Franklin now that looks a lot like these, but I don't like them as well. They're not quite the same. Um, if you happen to have an old classic stripping knife laying around and you want to unload it, I would be more than happy to take that off of your hands. Um, I am always looking for these. I love these knives. So um, you want to start with the dog standing and you want to lay the knife perpendicular to the hair. So you're going to lay it as flat against the skin as you possibly can. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I know it's kind of hard to tell from all the way over here, but I'm by myself. So you pull the skin tight, pull the skin tight up here, and you lay the knife flat against the hair, and you just drag it through the coat. You want to make sure that you keep pulling the skin tight where you're, where you're pulling. And you can see, all, I did this last week, so this is a week's worth of, of undercoat. But you just drag it through the coat. If they get really long and hairy, it's a lot harder to get it through, especially if you haven't done this in a while. You kind of have to start in small sections and kind of work your way through, um, or you'll just kind of gum up and it won't go anywhere. Um, you can do this on the body, the neck, hips, down the back of the, the back part of the leg. You don't want to get into the furnishings too much because you'll start breaking some hair off. You want to use enough pressure that you're getting through the coat and getting that undercoat out, but not so much that you're, you know, damaging the skin and raking it through the skin. So you can see how much. This is what sheds all over the house. Sometimes if I get into a really thick spot and I don't need it, it's a spot I don't need to pull the skin tight, I'll use both hands just to kind of help guide the knife should not be cutting hair, should just be pulling out undercoat. You can do this down the tail as well, you just want to be a little bit gen more gentle. But you can see how much hair it removes. It's very important to keep the knife flat against the skin though, you don't want it like this. You want it laying flat like this. Helps the coat lay smoother. And that's how you card out the undercoat.